So, OpenAI has just acquired state-of-the-art neuromorphic processors, NPUs, from Rain AI, and this new partnership will change the future of AI as we know it. These digital dendrites are the next best thing when it comes to mimicking brain function, and here's everything you need to know about them. Let's dive in. Backed by none other than Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI and Aramco Ventures, linked to Saudi Aramco, this startup is making neuromorphic processors using way less energy than most G GPUs use for AI technology, and it's on its way to taking over the AI industry. Early reports say that OpenAI dropped around $51 million on Rain AI chips to push boundaries in AI. And with projects like QSTAR and incorporating audio within ChatGPT, it's clear that the company is setting up its monopoly quite well. But how will these brain chips shape the future of AI? Well, neuromorphic processors are a special type of AI tool designed to mimic the human nervous system. Unlike regular Regular processors, NPUs are built as networks of artificial brain cells and take in information through their input layer as electrical spikes, which then move to artificial synapses in the NPU. Each synapse has a weight determining the strength of the connection between input and output brain cells. These weights change as the NPU learns from data and improves over time, tuning itself with newer data sets. But what happens when the electrical spikes reach their destination? When a spike reaches a synapse, it helps activate the next brain cell. And if enough activation occurs, the brain cell fires another signal, generating its own spike all over again. To amplify the signals, this process repeats across the NPU and allows it to perform complex tasks by learning and adapting to the altering weights of its synapses through a process called synaptic plasticity. The synaptic plasticity helps the neuromorphic processor with learning and memory, and unlike regular processors, it takes a fraction of the time too. While these brain chips have the ability to significantly enhance the processing speed of next-generation tech, what can they actually do to help us? It's no secret that Rain AI's NPUs will revolutionize AI development in the coming years. But here's why these chips are a huge deal. First of all, these chips are super speedy at handling the complex math AI needs. They're capable of doing tasks like matrix stuff and convolutions way faster than regular CPUs and GPUs, which makes them perfect for all your hardware needs. Plus, they don't hog power like those others. These chips are energy efficient, which is awesome for devices like smartphones and gadgets that need longer battery life. What's more, the NPUs are tailor-made for AI tasks. Not only that, but because these processors work at incredible speeds and are way quicker than regular chips, it makes them perfect for stuff like self-driving cars or language translation tools where speed is key. Thanks to their superior performance and efficiency, Rain AI's chips have made it possible for AI engineers to create and run even more complex AI models, pushing boundaries in language, images, and learning. And this is key when it comes to integrating them in the future of AI. As we already know, Rain AI's ability to mimic the structure and function of the human brain gives these chips the ability to process tasks at remarkable speeds. On top of that, these NPUs are also designed to improve the efficiency and computational capabilities of AI applications by a significant margin, by speeding up computations, handling complex tasks, and reducing energy consumption, Rain AI's brain chips can easily drive the next generation of innovative AI models across various industries. However, there are some privacy concerns too. In April 2022, Rain AI secured $33 million in a funding round led by Prosperity7 that not only valued the company at $90 million, but was for the company to support their operations until early 2025. Sam Altman personally invested $1 million out of his own pocket into the company. However, it was Prosperity 7's investment that caught the attention of the Committee on Foreign Investment, also known as the CFIUS, in the United States. They had concerns about national security, because of which things got a little complicated. The main goal of the CFIUS is to oversee foreign investments and any projects that involve sensitive technology. While Sam's money wasn't a red flag for the committee, what raised huge concerns concern was the fact that Rain AI had also revived a small investment from a Chinese firm. However, that wasn't the problem here. You see, that investment wasn't as hefty. The problem was that it also got an incredibly large investment from a Saudi Arabian entity. 
And that's the investment that raised the flags. The concern wasn't really about the money, but rather the potential access and influence a foreign party might have over critical technology. The CFIUS has always been worried about China using intermediaries with the Middle East to learn more about critical technology, and that's why Rain AI's financial background has been under a lot of scrutiny. To overcome the bad press, OpenAI now needs to look for deep-pocketed partners, considering how much money it has dropped to get access to these controversial brain chips. One probable solution to this is for the company to make their own AI processors. Since Altman himself hasn't ruled out the possibility of OpenAI making these chips themselves, we can expect to see a version of Rain AI made by Altman himself once he manages to secure significant funding for it. Because either way, these chips have tons of advantages. Rain AI is revolutionizing AI workloads with digital in-memory computing, addressing the limits posed by traditional computer architectures. Their pioneering approach optimizes AI processing and memory demands, offering high accuracy numerics with no loss compared to FP32. By leveraging their block brain floating point scheme and circuit level co designed numerical formats, Rain AI ensures top notch performance using 4 bit and 8 bit matrix multiplication. This innovation sets a new standard for AI efficiency, providing exceptional computation without sacrificing accuracy. One standout advantage lies in Rain AI's proprietary DIMC cores, scalable for high volume production, supporting both training and inference while maintaining FP32 accuracy through quantization algorithms. Not only that, but their integration of RISC V ISA empowers AI developers with unmatched flexibility to implement any operator or model, enhancing performance and reprogrammability across various operators. Their link between RISC V and DIMC cores offers superior performance through a balanced pipeline, ensuring high efficiency and adaptability. Another significant milestone is Rain AI's focus on on-device fine-tuning, which is a critical solution for AI model deployment issues stemming from training and deployment environment mismatches. Co-designing fine-tuning algorithms like LoRa with hardware enables efficient real-time training, boosting AI accuracy by over 10% in realistic deployment scenarios. These advancements signify Rain AI's commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI efficiency and accuracy through innovative chip technologies. But despite their significant benefits in enhancing machine learning tasks, they come with notable limitations. Their availability is not as widespread as GPUs, leading to a situation where not all devices may incorporate an NPU. Compatibility issues arise as NPUs may not seamlessly integrate with all machine learning software or neural network architectures, often requiring specific setups or software libraries. Cost also plays a huge factor as NPUs tend to be expensive to produce, potentially restricting access for some users due to cost-prohibitive factors. Not only that, but their implementation also demands knowledge and expertise, adding another layer of complexity. Moreover, unlike GPUs, NPUs might face challenges in scaling efficiently for handling large and intricate machine learning tasks, limiting their utility in certain distributed computing environments. But regardless of the limitations of these chips, there's a way for you to get your hands on Rain AI's hardware too. If you're looking to explore Rain AI's cutting-edge hardware for AI innovation, then you can reach out to them via their website at rain.ai contact us. Their website offers direct access to purchasing their advanced hardware solutions, and you can even license their IPs or request their custom accelerator. Simply drop them a message expressing your interest in their technology and provide them with a few basic details like your name and email. Once you click submit, the team will get in touch with you shortly and you'll You'll be one step closer to getting your hands on a digital dendrites yourself. Aside from the advantages and the hype surrounding these brain chips, there are still plenty of challenges for OpenAI to overcome once they're acquired their batch of the processors. Neuromorphic computing holds the promise of transforming AI by boosting efficiency and uncovering insights into how we think. However, it's still in the early stages and faces a few hurdles. One challenge is accuracy. While neuromorphic computers use less energy than traditional AI hardware, they haven't definitively proven to be more accurate. 
Also, the software for neuromorphic computing hasn't kept up with the hardware, limiting innovation. These computers aren't easily accessible to non-experts due to the lack of user-friendly interfaces. Plus, there's a need for standardized benchmarks to measure their performance effectively. Another snag is that these computers are based on what we know about human cognition, which is still not fully understood. Some theories suggest it might involve quantum computation, but despite these hurdles, if neuromorphic computing gets a lot of funding in the future, it could be used for various things like self-driving cars, drones, robots, and smart devices, and make our lives infinitely easier. So what do you think? Can these neuromorphic processors completely replace GPUs, or will open AI AI find a way to use them both for future AI models? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more updates just like this.